While the world is fighting the global pandemic, the question remains, who is responsible for all the deaths and the economic decline that we are experiencing right now? By the end of this video, you will know how you might have been the one who had paid for the Wuhan bat experiments and other animal experiments worth a whopping $15 billion. Hi, I'm Jen Sudarova and this is my show Think Tanker. Joining us today is Kristen McPherson, the development manager of the White Coat Waste Project, an advocacy group that is fighting against federal money being spent on animal experiments. Hi Kristen and welcome to the show. Hi Jen, thanks for having me, it's great to be here. So your team was instrumental in uncovering of federal grants made by the NIH to the Wuhan Institute of Virology for coronavirus research that is now suspected to be the origin of the COVID-19 outbreak. Could you please tell us what exactly was your guys' role in this? Absolutely. So last month, we were the first to expose to international media how the National Institutes of Health have spent millions of our tax dollars funding animal tests at the Natuquan Institute of Virology. Um, if that name sounds familiar, it's because it's the controversial bioagent lab in China where many believe the COVID-19 pandemic may have leaked from. Some of the recent taxpayer-funded animal experiments at the Wuhan Institute of Virology um, lab we, that we have uncovered are the coronavirus-infected bats being captured in caves nearby, um, transported back to the Wuhan lab, and then experimented on, um, coronavirus being grown in labs and injected into piglets, and animals having holes drilled into their heads, being deprived of water for 23 hours a day, and being repeatedly electroshocked. That makes my skin crawl. <laughs> um, but what we do at White Coat Waste is look at federal funding of animal experiments. And this is already an unacceptable situation, um, but this is also an issue of human impact, obviously. We're, right. we're all in lockdown for coronavirus. Right. Who knows, we could have been living in a completely different world now, if not the American money spent in the Wuhan lab. So Kristen, even before defunding the Wuhan lab, your team has made significant progress in limiting the amount of tax parties money spent on animal testing, specifically ending kitten cannibalism experiments, stopping federal funding experiments in Milwaukee and Cleveland. Is it true that taxpayers were paying for torturing kittens and puppies? Yeah, um, it's unfortunately is true. And it's still going on. Um, there are still a few VA dog labs. Well, I should say just one VA dog lab intact. Um, we have shut down 75% of them, as you just mentioned. But um, there is still a dog test happening in Richmond, Virginia, that we call the Richmond 66. Currently, there are 66 dogs who are being lined up for research um, where they will have artificially implanted heart heart attacks um, and heart complications. And then they're going to be forced to run on treadmills where they are then euthanized after. Um, prior to us getting involved a few years ago in the VA labs, um, the, these dogs weren't under anesthesia when the heart was being operated on. So luckily, they are at least under anesthesia. However, our goal is to defund this cruel, cruel test. It is really heartbreaking to hear that there is such inhumane tests being run on animals. But Kristen, perhaps this is necessary for research experiments that would contribute to medical innovation and then help humans would they justify that maybe? Well, Jen, it's a serious question. And um, the fact of the matter is for these tests that we are seeking to defund, they've been going on since the 1960s and 95% of all animal tests are failures. So it's a 5% chance there's anything. Um, I, I just don't understand why we would continue to do the same test after 50, 60 years of failure. So this is a very unusual mission of your organization. And how did you, how did you guys end up doing that? And you in particular, how did you end up in this position? 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we started because of um, mo mostly these VA dogs and just discovering that uh, at the time it was 15 billion in, um, in taxpayer funded dollars going to animal experiments. Now it's over 20 billion. Um, we just realized how much money is being wasted and Americans don't even know about it. So that's why we exist. Um, but for me, I got involved because I was 11 years old and I watched a movie called Legally Blonde 2. Um, Elle Woods went into the cosmetic testing lab of her dog's mom, um, who was getting tested on for cosmetics. And I learned about this and I said, what? Why, why would my eyeliner need to be tested on a dog? Um, I can figure that out on my own. So I discovered this animal welfare issue and went and got an animal advocacy certificate from a local community college. Um, and then I discovered white coat waste while I was in DC interning with libertarian um, think tanks. And I just saw the potential to do two things I love, uh, defunding government <laughs> for wasteful spending and protecting animals that deserve a, a life to to love. <laughs> so how can our audience, which I'm sure is very interested in finding out more about that, because this is so unusual and something that not a lot of people think about. So how can they find you or your group and how can they maybe support you or get involved? Absolutely. Well, uh, first off, you can check out whitecoatwaste.org. Uh, we have a blog that is updated regularly. Um, one of our most recent blog posts gives you a really good way to take action um, with actually the wet market bill that was just introduced to the Senate. Uh, so we are seeking to stop U.S. dollars from going over to China to spend on dogs and cats to bring back to the U.S. and feed to other cats, um, which we didn't get into, but um, within the Kittens Act that we were accomplishing last year, um, they, that's what they were doing. They were feeding dead cats and dogs to cats here in labs. Um, luckily, we got 14 of them out um, and adopted, but that's not common. And that experiment had been going on for 30 years. And we still don't know <laughs> what, what value they got out of it. Um, however, uh, you can check out White Coat Waste. You can also check out our change.org. We have multiple petitions going on, and we have 2 million advocates going strong who want to see the government stop funding cruel animal experiments. Well, Kristen, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, and thank you for telling us the story of how federal money, our money, taxpayers' money, is being spent on basically torturing uh, innocent puppies and kittens and how uh, how groups like you are advocating against that. And now we know how we can help out and get involved. Thanks again. It was good having you. Thank you, Jen. Thanks for having me. It's great talking. <laughs>